Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to KJ's World. And today, you guys, I just want to show you that I'm making chicken broth. Homemade chicken broth. Um, <clears throat> I am so sorry. I did not record what I actually put in it as I was putting the things in. So they're already in the pot and it's already bubbling. But I have, um, I think four chicken cartridges in this one. Um, bell pepper, celery, onion. I tend to lean towards the Holy Trinity. Um, and then I have my house blend seasoning. And that's all I have in here right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Two bay leaves. I did put two bay leaves in there as well. And I had so many chicken parts in my freezer. And that's why I'm trying to go ahead and clear out my freezer and get it done now. And then this is another pot. So I have two pots going. And this pot, I think I have three chicken whole chicken cartridge and the same thing holy trinity bay leaves two bay leaves and then my house blend seasoning so i just wanted to show you guys that i have them on low cooking they will be cooking as you see is what 8 30 right now they will probably be cooking until late tonight if not turn them down real low and have them cook all night long and then tomorrow what I'll do is I will can it up so I will bring you back when I actually can up do the canning excuse me for the chicken broth itself hey babe Yeah, but you guys, it is smelling so, so good. It looks good. Look at all that. The chicken pieces are tender. They're already falling apart. So, yeah, just keep them low and slow. And this here will cook for hours. And then I'll strain it put in jars and then pressure can it I'm actually gonna pressure can in quart jars okay bye okay you guys let's see I have my camera rigged up so hopefully I'm hoping it doesn't fall but here we are the chicken broth is done I'm going to strain it I have a let me see you can't see I have a pot Right here, a large pot with the strainer. And what I'm gonna do right now is just take the large bits out of here and dump them into a bowl and then strain into this pot. I also have another bowl because remember I have two pots, so and I have this pot sitting down in my sink. And I'm gonna try to not make a huge mess. just gonna well I thought I would use these let's see here this is not getting as much as I would like as fast as I would I would like it let's see A lot of the skin that's just floating on top. Yeah, we'll dig deeper. I'm probably going to go through a few utensils because this is not even long enough. 
Yeah. have to use this spoon. And we'll just smash, try to get as much liquid out of this as possible. And then I'll take it and I'll I have a bowl right here and just empty this into the bowl. And continue until I get this whole pot strained and then I'll bring you back. Okay, you guys, let's see here. I have to move you around. So I've strained all my broth and I have this pot here I have no idea how many quarts it is and then this is a 20 quart pot um if I had to guess that's probably about a um, seven quart pot five seven and then this how how full this one is as you can see it is still warm and the fat is still on top which is fine with me um get all my jars washed and then I will get them filled up and then I'll bring you guys back okay you guys car turn that down some please babe I'm gonna show you my setup I'm gonna put my jars here I have my broth here one of pots um, just out of frame here I have my lids and hot water in a bowl and then Here's my bands. And I have my vinegar sitting over here. So I have my jars in the oven, keeping warm. My broth is warm. And my canner is warm. Ooh, I don't know, maybe they're a little too warm. So I can't pull them out. Just kind of stirring it up a little bit because all the grease is floating on top so I did strain it however I didn't strain it with a cheesecloth so there will be some seasonings down in the bottom of each jar which is fine with me I'm canning it in quarts and I'm going to leave a one inch head space See if I can move this a little bit closer without spilling too much. Hey guys, I am not a pro at this. I am still in my learning process. So, well, my learning journey whatever you want to call it, of canning, as well as gardening. And just to go over it, each pot that I had, which I had large pots like this one right here, that one right there says a 20 quart. That's a 20 quart pot. The other one is also a 20 quart pot. So um, I had four, let me see. Yeah, four 
chicken cartridge in one pot, three and a half, I believe, in the other. Um, my house blend seasoning, which also contains some parsley in it, and some bell pepper, onion, celery, the holy trinity that I just had in the freezer. And two to three bay leaves in each pot. And that's it. I did wash about 14 quarts. I'm not sure how many I'm going to get from these two, but we'll see. If I have to wash more, I'll just wash more. I'm trying not to make a huge mess. Let me see. You guys can barely see. Give me just a moment. Sorry. Let me see if I can adjust the camera down a little bit lower. Move this out the way. So you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit more. Okay, there you guys go. You guys can't see me, but you can see what I'm doing. And right here to the one inch headspace is where I'm, I'm taking it. This is soaked in vinegar. Okay. lids and my bands here fingertip tight to the camera they go. And I'll continue to do that until I have a full camera load, you guys.
Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. I definitely underestimated how many jars that this was going to make. This is my first counter load. It's coming down. It's turned off. I still have some in this pot, which is probably enough to fill mm, two quarts, two, two and a half quarts. And then my second counter load is already ready to go into the pot i'm sorry into the canner and then that pot right there this is how i'm keeping it warm since i can't have all these pots sitting on top of my oven they just won't fit so that pot is full of broth as well that's in there and it's keeping it warm so i'm definitely going to have about four cantaloupes. So I'm looking at a 
approximately 28 quarts of chicken broth. So I'm getting ready to get these washed and then they will go in the oven when the other ones come out so they can stay warm. Okay, hot broth, hot jars, hot can. See you soon. So you guys, my first batch just completely went down to zero. I took the regulator off, so here's my regulator. And then what I did was I just cracked the top on it and we'll let it sit like that for about five minutes and I have my timer going and then we'll pull them out. Okay, here we go. Pull them out. <clears throat> So far, you guys, I had no siphoning, which is awesome. Because that does happen to me from time to time. So. Looks like my water is clear today. And this is the last one. <clears throat> okay. I will put more water, hot water in there, bring it up, and do it all again. Okay, this is how they look. They've already started popping. You see that one's bubbling. And those are some oranges that I've done earlier. They just need to be put away. So here we are, seven jars, and I get ready to do it again. Okay, you guys. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to continue until all I have all of them canned. So it's just one big cannon day today. And I just wanted to bring you along to show you how I do it. And again, sorry for not videotaping me actually putting the broth together. But until next time, take what you have to make what you want. Love you guys. That's Down Home Living. You guys, I forgot, well, steaming up the lens. Forgot to show you the inside of the pot when i said that i didn't have any siphoning so this is what the inside of the pot looks like and this is after my second um session in the pressure canner so uh oh i keep sorry steaming up i just took the jars out so it's steaming up the lens is hot so i'm gonna add some more water bring it back up to level and continue for um processing session number three okay bye okay here is the pot after my last canning session so i did four canning sessions today it is now 10 49 10 50 p.m and uh oh there we go it is clear four sessions 
chicken broth um, in quarts. I think I have 28 quarts total and no siphoning. This is a first for me. I am so proud of myself. Okay, here are some of the jars. As you see, it's still bubbling. I just took that one out. And my poor aloe plant, I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm trying. It, it had root rot and everything else from the store. I got it from the big box store, so I don't know. I'm trying to keep it alive. We'll see if that happens. And then I have all of these. And I just need the last set to seal. All of them are sealed except for the last seven that I just took out. And I just heard one ping, so we'll see. But there we are, 28 quarts of chicken broth.